connected with the series is also one of the more enjoyable. It's a promotional trailer produced for the festival that's been running in a few local theaters. It's very well done and deserves wider attention. Here it is. Once a year, the eyes of the international film community turn to the tiny town of Mill Valley, California, and its glorious cinematic celebration. Of course, we had the debut of Paris, Texas last year, and that was very nice. That was very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I guess we're all looking forward to the film noir retrospective. Yeah, we like that deep focus. Well, there's a surface to the genre that, if anything, improves with age. They're bringing back that Jane Russell movie, Hot Blood. Ellen and Bob want an answer about the video fest. Are we going or not? Karen says that the recent New Zealand films are better than the French New Way. I did not. I just said they were reminiscent. That's stupid, Daddy. Where's their Truffaut? Where's their Godard? Chris? We are going to see the premiere of the Huxley Wexler film, Latino. We are Huxley Wexler's fans from way back. Medium cool. That Bim Vendors is such a nice young director. There should be more like him. So, uh, am I going to see you at the premiere of that new Paul Schrader film? Mishima? Yeah. No, I can't. My dad's taking us to Africa. Well, can't you get out of it? Yeah, I was telling Morris, get this. We got this world premiere of Joseph Papp's new film starring Meryl Streep and John Gielgud. And he says, who's Joseph Papp? You gotta be kidding me. I don't know how the guy ever made Sergeant. Of course, Eisenstein really wrote the book on film cutting. Everything since has more or less been a footnote. But some footnotes are more interesting than others. This year, we're having a panel of discussion with some of the best editors in the business. Marshall Lucas, Bob Dalva, Michael Chandler, Tom Sanford. So God's up in heaven. And he looks down at his calendar and he sees the end of the world is coming up. And he decides that somebody should film it, right? So he has St. Peter go down and shop the property for a director. St. Peter comes back and says, he can't find a director. And God says, well, what about Lucas? And St. Peter says, he won't do it. He'll produce it, but he won't direct it. That's no good, God says. Well, how about Spielberg? He can't do it. It's something to do with his contract. Well, how about Coppola, says St. Peter. God says, Coppola, Coppola, I got to make a profit on this thing. 